Welcome back to Give Me Five with Jones and Eli. Eli, you get $100,000, but for three months, no shaving, no deodorant, and no brushing your teeth. You taking that deal? Yeah, I'm taking that deal. $100,000, are you kidding me? For three months? Not even for a year? Three months, $100,000? I might do it for four times and get 400000 I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm taking the fucking deal. If I'm getting hundred k in three months, I don't have to work. I don't have to do anything. So I can do it at a time when it's like summer or when there's nothing else to do. And I can literally just go to like an island or some like resort somewhere far away where I'm not going to see anybody I know, not going to run into anybody. I don't have to like hug anybody, kiss anybody, get like be gross around them. And I could just live myself. It would honestly probably be good for me. Detox a little bit, look out, see the sky, just be in my natural human form for three months. And at the end of it, I get a nice little 100K. It's a lot of money. Would love that type of money, but I can't do it. I just can't, man. I, I The first thing I do every morning is I, I run to the bathroom to brush my teeth. I just can't take the stank breath of sleeping. It's the absolute worst thing. You know, you talk about bad breath around other people. How about bad breath around myself? I can smell that. I just cannot handle that. The shaving would be fine. Now, not shaving for three months. I've done that before. That, oh. that, that wouldn't really bother me. You know, grow out a nice grizzly beard. Uh, and the, the deodorant would get nasty after a while because it, it, it adds up. And, and here's what I don't like about your answer and what I would almost say delegitimizes your entire argument is I, I, don't, I just hate the idea of leaving life behind. I feel like somewhat of this question implies that you, you have to keep living your life. Like, sure, you might not have to work, right? Because you're going to recoup $100,000 for this month but or those three months. But to think you can just remove yourself from life. So if I offer this, you're just going to leave college right now and you're going to go to this island and then you're going to come back. Like, There's still a life to live. So I think you still have to have some of that navigation. And navigating that three months of daily life, having to be in the same vicinity as people is absolutely disgusting. Well, I didn't say I'm going to take it right now. I just think I would take it at a certain point. I, so offered I, think, it, I offered it today. Yeah, well, I, you I know, offered it right now. That, I didn't offer it in three months. Are you going to offer that deal in a few months? No, no. Well, the, you don't know offers, that. Maybe I'll go to somebody offer, else who gives it no, to me. No, no, no. Nobody else has this deal but me. The, 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 <laughs> idea, of, the idea of offering, Elias, isn't, isn't just about the deal. It's about the timing of the deal. Well, Look at sports trades. That's how it works. The timing Jones, has I, to work, I mean, too. I think, I think, yeah, for 100000 I could leave my life behind. I could do stuff. For, you're forgetting we're also living in the world of remoteness and Zoom and – those kind of you know video conferencing applications. Shout out our one of our <laughs> previous guest pods. But yeah, I think absolutely I could go and even though yeah I have class or I have work or whatever, I can go and I can do all that stuff remotely from a certain place and I can tell people, hey, I'm getting a hundred k, I'll give you five hundred bucks. Don't make me come to class for the next three weeks, whatever. I'll still do my work, but don't make me come. And they say, yeah, fuck it, who cares? So yeah, I think if you went to your professors and said you give them five hundred dollars to miss three weeks of class, or well, I'm not a missing it. Class, I'm not missing it. I'm just saying if I could be at remote, do it remotely. I'll, I'll participate for everything. I will participate completely, and I'll watch every single lecture and do every single assessment. Yeah, they'd say, who cares? Three months I, is not that long of a time. Think about three months ago, July 16th. Yeah, that's nothing. That's that's literally almost when Gimme Five was, <laughs> was found. Exactly. That's why I said it. That's, that's crazy to think about. See, I mean, in the whole Gimme Five lifetime, to have not brushed my teeth since Gimme Five was established. That would be pretty heinous. I, I, you know, I probably have brushed my teeth at least multiple times since then and feel much better. At least multiple, really. <laughs> but at the, least multiple, man. The other thing and, that you're, the, yeah. wait, let me, let me, the other thing that you're saying, you, you didn't say I can't shower. So I, I could just I, like, the deodorant is a non-factor because I could shower with full soap three times a day if I wanted to. That's fine. And like the shaving, like you said, it would be annoying maybe, but I don't even know if I could grow out a full beard, but if like that would be fine as well. The only thing that would really be annoying would be the brushing of the teeth. But there are ways, again, to get around that. You could, to make your breath smell bad, you could even do mouthwash. You could do Listerine. You could chew a shit ton of gum. It would be really gross. You probably have to do some intensive dental care upon return. But luckily, you have 100000 You could pay it off pretty easily. I think if you're not taking this deal, you're missing out big time. No, you're you're creating all these workarounds. Like, sure, if you live, if you spent these three months in a shower surrounded by Listerine in your magic kingdom off to the side, 
That would be nice. But I think a That'd lot of great. this that question, will be nice. but a lot of what this question actually takes on is you would kind of have to in, employ this into an everyday life scenario. And I don't think I could do that to other people. I don't think I could do that to myself. The number one thing, my number one pet peeve is not feeling like when you just feel so filthy and that starts with the inside of your mouth. I don't think that's worth anything. I'd rather just work for my money and eventually hopefully get there rather than take a shortcut and, and maybe do irreparable damage to my teeth, as you said. I think if the question was, I have to smell disgusting, have terrible breath, feel gross and whatever for three months and still exist in my day-to-day -day life and go to class and see every single person that I know, no, I would not take that deal. That's true. It all depends how you phrase it. This has been Give Me Five with Jones and Eli. Comment on our Instagrams and TikTok for a chance to suggest our next pod topic, Eli. Thanks for talking. Always a pleasure, Jones. Talk to you soon.